In today's lesson, I will show you how to create a group policy to prevent users from accessing a USB drive on their computers. Numerous organizations implement USB drive access restrictions for security reasons. Organizations don't want their employees to copy sensitive data and take it outside the organization. Even if the employee has no malicious intent to misuse this data, the USB drive can be lost or stolen, and hence the risk of exploiting this data is high. Another reason we can invoke for restricting access to USB drives is to prevent users from running unauthorized programs that could be malware and infect the organization's network. To create and test my GPU, I need to have the domain controller and the Windows 11 workstation up and running. In the domain controller, from the server manager dashboard, open the tools menu. Then click on group policy management. On the group policy management console, right click the domain name. Then click create GPU in this domain and link it here. Next, give your GPU a name, for example, disable USB drive. OK. Now you need to edit this GPU. Under Computer Configuration, open Policies, Administrative Templates, and then Systems. Then scroll down and click on Removable Storage Access. It offers a list of several options you can configure. You can deny access to CD and DVD drive, deny access to floppy drives. This one is kept for compatibility purposes. Nowadays, floppy drives are only present in old systems. You can also deny access to removable disks. If you deny access to all removable storage classes, this prevents using any kind of removable storage, including USB drives, CDs, DVDs, and floppy disks. There are tape drives and WPD devices. WPD stands for Windows Portable Device. It includes media players, cellular phones, auxiliary displays, and CE devices. In our example, I will focus on the removable disks category. As you can see, there are three options. We can deny execute access. This will prevent users from running programs from within the USB drive. It's useful for reducing malware infection risk. The second option will deny read access to the USB drive. Denying read access will completely prevent users from accessing the USB drive. The third option will deny write access to the USB drive. This means that users can't write anything to the USB drive, including copying files to this drive. We will test each one of these options and check the results. I will start with denying execute access. I double click, then I enable the option. Click apply, OK. Now I switch to the Windows 11 workstation. Open my session. First, I need to force the GPU to update because GPUs are refreshed every 90 minutes and I don't want to wait all this time. To force group policies to update, type the following command gpupdate slash force. All right, the GPU has been successfully applied. Let's do a test. I plug a USB drive. VMware asks me where I want to plug this USB drive. I select connect to a virtual machine and select the Windows 11 VM. Click OK. Windows Explorer opens and shows the USB drive content. I have executable files and a text document. Let's see if I can run this program. I get an error message. Windows cannot access the specified device. You may not have appropriate permission to access the item. It worked as expected. Now let's see if I can read a text file. The text file opens without a problem. I can also copy or create documents. 
Yes, it works. This option can be helpful if your concern is to prevent users from running notarized programs from USB drives that can potentially compromise the organization's network security. Back to the domain controller. Now I will enable the deny write access option. OK, I switch to the Windows 11 machine. Let's try to create a new folder. And it works. Do you know why? I did not refresh the GPU. So let's do it. GPU refreshed. Let's try again. This time I get a warning telling me that I need permission to perform this action. Now I switch back to the domain controller to enable the third option. Deny read access. OK, I switch to the Windows 11 workstation. This time I will not forget to refresh the GPU. OK, GPU updated. Let's try to access the USB drive. Access denied. I can't access the USB drive at all. All right, in this lesson, I showed you three ways to restrict access to the USB drive. You can deny execute access. This will prevent users from running unauthorized programs that can compromise the organization's network security. You can deny write access to prevent users from copying data to the USB drive. And if you want to prevent any inherent risk related to USB drives, you can deny read access.